In today's video from this part, I will build my own watch. I will build pilot watch. So welcome on Ticking Watch and stay tuned if you are interested. For this project, I will use a watch movement from a Seiko NH35 that I bought on AliExpress. Here I have to install also this plastic ring. And we have a dial in the style of a pilot watch and of course, a dedicated watch case. Okay, so let's start. We can see here that this ring would be easier to install before I installed this date dial. Anyway, with a screwdriver I can I can go through this. Okay. What I like about this watch movement, it has a black date dial. So in this way it fits perfectly with the watch dial. And in this way I think the watch will look much much better. The movement Seiko NH35 or 36 is actually the same. Is used by many micro brands like for example Baltic, like Spinnaker like Zilos also and is used by many yeah, homage watches producer so that's at the brands mostly in China, from China that you can buy on Aliexpress or also on eBay that are yeah, in some way reproducing uh, the style of well-known brands and are building quite high uh, quite good and quite quite good looking uh, watches they are also paying attention to the quality of course everything depends from the price if you are uh, if you want to spend only hundred dollar uh, of course the quality will be lower if you spend 300 or 400 dollar the watch will look much much better with better quality and also very often not with Seiko NH35, but also with a clone of ETA, for example, PT5000, or even other brands like uh, Seagull. Okay, now I'm installing the hour hand. So it's more almost on place. Now the minute hand. have the hands of this pilot watch. The style of this dial is called B Ur or B watch. So it has this minute tracks on the uh, on the edge and inside we have hours. So it's called a B Ur or B Flieger. Oh, I like this date. It looks really, really great. Okay, I think now the minute hand. I'm going to make this video a little bit longer because I would like to show you everything here without any skipping or interruption. Let's check now the hands. Anyway, if you would like to comment or ask a question, feel free and use the comment section down below. If I can help, definitely I will. Okay, I think the minute hand is now okay. Let's check it. It's aligned quite well. Isn't hacking. The dial is made pretty simple. Everything is printed. Nothing applied and very legible. Uh, this date... Uh, okay, it, it changes almost two hours. It doesn't skip like by ETA. Could be better. I think here could be improved, but anyway... I paid for this uh, movement on AliExpress about $50. So I'm happy anyway quite uh, reliable movement I don't know 
how high quality are these movements from AliExpress, but this one works pretty well. Okay, here we have to be very, very delicate and careful not to damage the second pinion. Okay. Now what I have to do is to uh, is to work on this winding stem because I cannot use this winding stem to the whole movement was aided a separate winding stem. So let's remove this one. Now I have to put the whole movement into the case. That's the case. Unfortunately, it isn't an exhibition case pack. But anyway, stainless steel, fully brushed, nothing polished, a plastic ring, and screw down crown. That's good. All the dust and anything have to be removed and clean because on this black tile you will see everything. Okay, in this way we have the movement inside the watch case. Nothing difficult. That's the winding stem that came together with the watch movement with this Seiko NH35. Let's tighten it a little bit. Of course it's too long, should be shortened, this I will do a little bit later. Okay, so it's quite long, now this ring. hand I don't like these plastic rings because when you push it inside this watch case uh, some plastic chips can form and that can stop the movement okay this side I think it's okay Okay, the movement is tightened in the case. Fortunately, the watch crystal is sapphire, but it doesn't have any ear coating. So therefore, this reflection, quite a lot of them. And here we have the gasket. And this gasket is bent. And unfortunately, I don't have a different one. So I will have to deal with this gasket in some way to make it good again. It doesn't go here. Here in the watch case we have some gap and there should go this gasket. Okay. Let's do this like that, now better. will use also what I used here you can't see this I used silicon grease and so in this cap the casket will hold and also I will use a little bit silicon grease here on the watch case so it will be easier to wind it back okay that's the gasket NH35 that's the caliber of the movement let's screw it back and after that we have to pay attention only here 
so that the gasket doesn't jam out from this gap there in the watch case. I think it's okay. I don't see here anything. Let's tighten it a little bit. Not too much because I will have to anyway uh, uh, remove the watch case and also shorten shorten the winding stem of course uh, quite a lot so let's shorten the winding stem Here, the edge, I have to sand it a little bit. As you can see, I don't use any special tools here. So, I would like to show you that everything you can do at home without any special equipment or tools. Okay, I think now the winding stem should be, should have the right length. Check it. Uh, I think it's a little bit too short. Let's check it again. Let's wind the screw down crown. No, no, it's okay. Seems to be okay. So I changing. So I'm changing the hours, and now I can wind the watch. Okay, the last thing that left is the strap. Fortunately, I don't have the right one, but I found something, and I will use it just temporary. Oh, quite lizard too glossy I think for this watch but anyway I would like to show you the watch on my wrist so stay tuned we are almost on the end we are almost finished okay the first part of this strap and now the second one uh, when I will buy a different strap Definitely I show you or make a post on my Instagram. The name of my Instagram is the same, Ticking Watch, so follow me. Here also quick shot about the loom. Nothing outstanding, but I think will do. Okay, and that's the watch on my wrist. Of course the strap I have to replace to a one that fits much better. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, Feel free and write them in the comment section down below. If you didn't subscribe yet, please do, please do. I will really appreciate it. And if you like it, click the thumb up. If you didn't, click the thumb down. But then tell me why you didn't like it. And I will catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.